Needing four runs to win, free hit. And what a shot. That's it, the winning run. Yes, it is. Nepal has won the tour. Game day three. Here we go. And Sampal Kami starts right on the money. A slip in place. Also a gully. That's guy Endra Mallet slip. And Nicely, just flicked really, even though it's gone very straight. He's kind of set up towards the offside and then flicked it straight down the ground, almost with a little bit of wrists and a, with over two and a half thousand runs. And what a shot that is! That's going to go all the way for six. Guided away down towards third man. It's gone very fine though, so it's going to run away for four. Karen KC grimaces the most expensive over the come up into the circle. He's right on the edge of the 30 yard circle to Pendra Singhari. And that's where he's going to go, but it's straight back. That crucial Mala, brilliant captaincy, tempts Barrington by bringing mid off up into the circle. And Mala takes a very good catch off his own bowling. And that's a big, big win. family are up early watching on. Here's his first ball in international cricket. And he starts about as beautifully as you could imagine he'll always have that four to his name whatever happens for the rest of his career what a way to start just to push teens under 17s under 19s and there's no shortage of confidence is there what a shot that is his second boundary in international cricket from his fourth ball and it's the full reverse sweep and given I think this has been given out caught behind. I don't think it's been given out LBW. There's two noises for me. And again, it's Kushal Mala who strikes. I think this is caught by Asif Sheikh. I don't think it's LBW. Either way, Nepal won't mind. They have their second. He just took his time with the decision. This is closer. And this one's gone. The first one's going to miss leg. I think this one's going to cannon into leg stump. And the finger goes up. And Matthew crosses tortured stay at the crease it really was tortured is ended by sandy plamachani he's almost never out of the wickets and it's the googly again full straight gone it's the leg break this time from lamachani mcintosh walks across his stumps it's as plumb as they come he's got two in five overs and nepal are all over scotland now they find their fourth wicket to the team with the ball this is chipped down the ground and over the head of Sampal Kami. That's out. Kushal Gurtel breaks this partnership. I think that was caught behind. Look at the turn that ball, the drift in and the turn got slight off of the edges of one on one. The lens of. Yes, that is it. That is why Sandeep Lamech and he's brought as a rather very soft dismissal. McMullen was playing very good. As I see men's cricket, World Cup League 2. Uh, that's over extra and a very good shot for a boundary. And it's a poor delivery and that's helped away. It's going to be back-to-back -back boundaries. This is a maximum. That's the power of Leesk. It's going to go all the way and a big smile from Jack Jarvis like to that. It. This one swept away and gets it fine enough to go all the way for six it's a bit of a top edge but Jarvis who's known as a parent for here as Leesk goes absolutely massive that's a big big hit up towards those Scottish flags that are in the VIP USA and therefore finish in the top five but there are other ways they can do it as this one squirts off an inside edge it's gonna go for four not where Leesk intended and Cami concedes a very rare boundary was into the block away very nearly through Leesk there. Helped into the leg side. Leesk has power and plenty of it. Going to go all the way for six. Just a flick of the wrists, no more than that. The shuffle down the track was the key there from Leesk. Another full toss. That's a poor delivery and dropped by one of our ground staff. He's dropped the chance for some KFC, the youngster. Oh, and that's 50 for Leesk. It's come up. That's Paul M. De Velesingere, you beauty. Jarvis gave himself a little bit of room. The ball went through the pitch very fast, quickly to the stumps. 
and clean him up. Exactly where he goes, and it goes into the crowd. A flat six. This is the matchup I was talking about. I don't think it's a good one for Nepal. And Leesk is proving exactly why. Hit down the ground. And straight as anything for six. He just turns his back on it. Leesk knows as soon as he gets a good piece of his meaty bat, it's going to fly all the way. Big problems for Nepal. Important in context. Goes into the leg side. Gets a lot of it and gets it all the way for six. Now, has someone held on to that in the crowd? They'll be getting some KFC if they did. Smashed to oblivion. That is an almighty hit out towards the school kids. Need that of save. Back live. This one's gone. Miles, absolutely miles. Michael Leesk has moved to 90. Yes, he can. Look at the celebrations. Keep your eyes on Michael Leesk here because you're not going to be able to stop him screaming in joy. One of the finest knocks you could ever imagine. It's a maiden ODI century and the crowd, they rise to Leesk. It's come from 79 deliveries. It has come with the most brilliant ball striking you could ever imagine. He adores the crowd and they adore him. Nine sixes. What a touching moment that is. One of the best settings. A good shot, a big shot. Yes, he tries to do that, but straight to long off. Looking for two. Ah, I think he's gone or something. Let's look at the... Yes, he's gone. A run out. Mark Watt has... What an innings. What a partnership with uh, Michael Lee that is broken here. It's at least one of them. What can he do? Hit away into the offside. And it's going to be four... Nice work from the Scottish number 10. Lee's going to be able to find the boundaries since he's got it. The soul goes down the ground. That's a great catch. Outstanding row at Powell. Gives the crowd something to cheer. An athletic, acrobatic take to close out the innings and probably save four runs almost more importantly. It gives Cami a first wicket today. There's the batting card. I think the disappointment for Scotland will be all of those teens and 20s uh, alongside maybe of Dependra Singari and Kushal Vertel and Kushal Mala, ja, Casey and Cami all pretty costly today guides it through the offside stand and deliver stuff beautiful stroke and that's exactly what will ease the home fans nerves the man who made a century for the first time in his previous innings gets off the mark in oh, what a flake that was Yet another boundary for four. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Koshal Burtel. Nepal off to a good start. 20 matches so far. That's again on the leg stump. Nicely clipped away his pads. Another boundary for four. The third boundary of this over for Koshal Burtel. More runs into the offside and four of them. The pace of Seoul has travelled the distance around the team. International cricket ground 23. But the runs are continuing to flow. Just a clip off the legs from Mohamed Asif Sheikh. A boundary for him. Seven deliveries, seven legal ones anyway. 27 runs. Keep going with Seoul. Edged and taken. That's an outstanding catch. Matthew Cross is as good a keeper as there is in associate cricket. And he's held on to a specky behind the stumps. Short, wide, yes. Bertel went for the cut. All happening out there. Mallet, just who you want in. And he flicks that one away. Just be a single down. Oh, it's going to be a boundary to here. <laughs> Not able to make contact. And even the caterers walking by, they cheer. Full of potential, Chris Soul. They're convinced he's got two. And he does. Guy and Endra Mala has just found a feather of an edge. And what a piece of bowling. Two wickets and four balls. Different coming out to a hard surface here in Kathmandu. Edged, and he's got him. Chris Sol is on fire here, and he celebrates appropriately. That's the perfect length on this wicket. Asif Sheikh went very hard at it, and again, credit to Barrington. He's kept the second slip in. It's Chris Green. Even I call him medium fast at a minimum, as that's worked away very fine. It flies to the boundary quickly. 45 runs. Three wickets, five overs gone, all happening. Left armour. 
And he's gone. Very first ball. Mark Watt strikes. And of all people, the skipper has given it away. It's a tame dismissal. It's a soft one. A very aggressive stroke from the first ball that Watt bowls. Yeah, they just need to survive. But Mala looks determined to go at Watt. Works it around the corner. Really nicely played. I think he's going to get four here to here. Chases in vain, as does Chris Greaves. Down the ground. There's a man out there, but it's gone over his head. When Kushal Mala hits it, it goes many a mile. Was that held in the crowd? Have we got some KFC chicken? Six balls. And this is going to be close and out. And you have to question the shot against the foremost associate spinner in the world, Scotland's best bowler. It was full, it was angling in. This is going to go on and hit middle stump. It's as plumb as they come. And he checked that aggression with some intelligence. He's going to go aggression aplenty. I think it might be all the way for six all. The umpire saying one bounce just in front of the rope for four. He's going to keep living by the sword. He moves to third. But as Irie slashes this out to midfield. Hamza Tahir has had a bit of a nightmare in the field so far today. And the crowd are starting to get in his back. Double teapot from Michael Leesk. Rightly so. Irie with those fast hands again gets four more. Maybe not that long as Mala simply smokes it out of the ground. When he hits it, it goes miles. Leesk can't believe it. Maximum to close out the 16th over. Well, they should build up like that. Over the offside. And he's going to get good reward. Should run away to the rope. It does. Mid-off up in the circle. Mala, he's not going to restrain himself. Tossed up teasingly by Watt. A good contest between these two. That's going to be four. Just a chip, no more than that. Again, Mala enjoying his cricket. Clipped into the sky. The crowd cheer. They think it's gone all the way. And it's going to be 50. Nine innings later. After breaking that world record of Sachin Tendulkar, he gets to the landmark again with a trademark Mala maximum. 42 deliveries, six fours, three sixes, a wonderful counter attack, and an acknowledgement of the. Uh, that's a good strike by Mala. Straight down the ground for a boundary. A good start for Mala and a very ordinary start for Tahir. Beautiful shot. Come. Poor delivery again. Helped down the ground. Four more. Going straight after Tahir. Mala. Down the ground towards us. Mid on in the circle. All the way for six. Kushal Mala is putting on a show in Kathmandu. And Scotland. Attack. From Mala. And he's being beautifully complimented by Dependra Singh Iree. I think that's just his second boundary, but he is pacing his innings perfectly. Aggressive intent. Leesk starts with a real rank long hop, and it's helped around the corner. They're dancing up in the crowds now. Dependrous. Last ball to go. Oh, very well played. Guided it down to third man. It's going to the boundary for four runs. Very well played. Mala moves to 78. Down the ground. Up towards us and all the way for six. Long off is out. It's an ambitious stroke. Four overs more of Mark Watt to deal with. This goes straight up. Is it going to be taken? It is. That's the game changing moment. It has a twist. And it's Hamza Tahir who holds on. Chase with 96 more needed. Down the leg side. Should get four. Poor line from Seoul. Just enough bat on it from Dependent. Driven. Square drive should be single. As Irie will get to 50. Comes from Smashed with wrists like fire to Penderson. Irie gets a boundary from the free hit. Almost hit. Hit up in the air. Going towards the boundary. And his four runs. A very handy boundary for Gulsan Jha and for Nepal. And he's given it away. 
just like that. Just as I already said to Ja, you don't need to hit the ball in the air. He's punched it back. Starts with a friendly full toss, though. And double misfield. It's going to run away for four. Kami hit the first ball for four against Namibia to hit the winning runs. He's done it again. We're going to get more than that. They're going to get a boundary four. A nice back foot punch beats the sprawling dive of Lee. Three wickets remaining. Four runs to win. Three hit. And what a shot. That's it, the winning run. Yes, it is. Nepal has won the tour. 275. Changed this very comfortably by Nepal. Started off with Kushal Malla. 80 odd runs in 60 odd balls. Now, Sompal Kami, 24 of 32 and Dipeta Singh 85 not out of 116 balls Nepal has won this match by three wickets Mohamed Asif Sheikh 9 Kenan Amala 4 Rohit Powell 6 and look at Kushal Manda 81 of 67 Sundeep Zora 5 let's look at the bowling card Seoul 3 for 72 McMullen 39 in 10 9 overs